Welcome to Sanks to Sank TV, brought to you courtesy of First Ave Entertainment. I am your host, B, and today is a special day. You guys are gonna see it later, but it is Father's Day, so a big shout out to all the fathers. For those who step in, stepdads, granddads, uncles, you name it, shout out to you. Also, we're gonna wrap up Caribbean Heritage Month this month, so shout out to all the Caribbean Americans here across the country, we salute you. In addition to that, you guys, we have an excellent show lined up for you today. Keep in mind, you can locate us on Sinks to Sink at www.sinkstosinktv.com. You can also find us on Instagram at Sinks to Sink TV. We have to give a big shout out to Karoo of Fort Lauderdale. Karoo have been sticking and staying with us since day one. We thank you so much. It's summer 18, you guys. We'll be back in just a flash. We're back on Sanks of Sank TV, and we are here with hip hop, R and B artist, Asus. I love it. Asus. Asus. <laughs> That's right. Asus. First of all, let's get right to your name. How was your name established? Well, I am the only girl. Okay. Of uh, how many boys? Two. So okay. I'm in between in the middle child. So I have an oldest baby. brother. Yep. Okay. And the uh, um the last child was his, uh, his name is First. So I used to hang around with them and you know their friends and they would be hey sis what's good so <laughs> i it just stuck that way really so, yeah. mm -hmm. oh okay i'm thinking i'm gonna have this elaborate meaning but i like <laughs> the sis i like sis because you know we all about sisterhood, sisterhood. yes yes yes, so, yes. yep mm -hmm. so how did you get started well i started at nine writing Whoa. music yeah just writing music okay and um i was too shy at first i didn't you know find my voice yet so i ventured off to be in a three-girl group mm. and found my niche in writing and then i just had such a passion and i enjoyed the production part of being an artist right so i tried to do it as solo artist and ever since then everybody been you know feeling your girl love it love it so the three-girl group how was that because there's always some type of tension or drama, especially when it comes to three girls. What's going on? Hey, <laughs> sus. Explain that to it's, me. Um, it's different. Everybody have, you know, their personalities. Right. But I think if you have a middle ground and knowing your lane, knowing your right. position in the group. Right. And don't have any, you know, beef just letting, you know, because girls can get catty. Sometimes we don't know why we mad. We just mad. Yes, you hormones, know? <laughs> hunger. So, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely um, an experience where I got to be more open, performing. So you actually perform when you were in a girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we did so, a lot. We like, was that. this teenage years or was it? Yeah, this is about, well, no, I wouldn't say teenage, in mid-20s. Okay, okay. So the youngest was, I think she was 21. Okay. I was the oldest, so it was 20. So you were the more, more experienced and seasoned one at the group? Yeah. Gotcha, yeah, okay. Yeah, so. 
And how was that experience when you guys first got on the stage? It's, you know what? I like being in the group because we didn't have to hire dancers if we didn't want to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, But the chemistry, I would say anybody that's in the group always perform because then that's when you find your identity on the stage. Right. Not practicing at home. You know? Right, it's just, right. You just find your, you know, you just kind of play off each other. Right, so. yes. The vibes and the mm -hmm. energy, the the magnetism of the energy. You yes. Got, oh, I understand, I understand. So as far as the transition is concerned, we oftentimes see people transition from a group and then they venture off themselves. How was that? Well, it it was exciting. It wasn't scary at all. Okay. I mean, um, as far as wanting to dominate, I'm mm -hmm. just going to put it out in the atmosphere. Alpha female. Okay. <laughs> to, um, to do hip hop, it was different. So I was like, hey, okay. You know, when I started to rap, I, I, a lot of people was like, yo, she can rap? I didn't know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I liked it, that feedback. I right. liked it feeling like, wow, the, a dominated male industry, right. I can still shine. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I went for it. Okay, rapping in that dominated male industry, yes. I'm sure you've come up to some hiccups or obstacles in that field. What is it that you do to overcome them? Because a lot of women are trying to find their way, and oftentimes we do – drama sometimes women get involved in some drama like cattiness as you mentioned right or they have to have that little me too movement all right <laughs> that me too yeah you know, we, we, we're just gonna leave it as me too in order to find their way or to get up to the next level so what is it that you do to overcome your obstacles i would say say true to the music mm -hmm. so if you're not a gangster chick you know really in the streets and holding up you know yeah if that's not you don't do it because you're not being authentic. Yeah. And you're not staying original to yourself. Yep. Now, if you stay true to yourself, anything you put out, any is going to, I wouldn't say touch like gold, but it would, it will resonate more. People would be like, true. yo. Because real recognize I went, real. I went through that. Like, yeah. that's, that was me yesterday. You're able to find people that right. connect more with you. Yeah. Authenticity is the best way to go. Yes. It really is. So as far as labels, right? So in that male dominated industry, there's still, I don't even know if, if there's any Real, like women who have stepped out on their own, independent, made a way for themselves, and are still on top. I want to say, I want to say probably a few out there, but no single-handedly, I don't, I don't think I know of any MCs that are by themselves, independent. Is that something that you want to do or look forward to doing, or are you, are you preferring, okay, let me get signed on the label, and then why? I definitely want to stay independent only okay. because you just have more creativity, um, control right. behind, you know, if you want to switch up your style, you want to switch up your vibe, you can, and then it's no hold off. If you want to put out your music today, it drops June, blah, 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 you, it's no back. It's right. No, you know, you, you kind of take the call the shots. Now, with that being said, indie artists do need to understand that it's independent, so a lot of the money is going to come out your pocket. Right. So if you're not if you're not here this for the long run, if you're not here for the, the true essence of music and grinding, then it's not. You might want a label. You right. Might wanna, you might want them to babysit you a little right. bit. You Ooh, know, you, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause that that's the thing. I I don't think people take into consideration. Yes, you do. You're you're basically your own boss, and you do have a lot of leeway of what you what you put out there creative wise. However, mm -hmm. that cash flow yes. that's coming out, this is you, this is your baby. Yes. So you have to put it out there mm -hmm. and there's a long time, might be a good minute before you see it coming, coming to back. fruition. Right. Mm -hmm. So how do you hold up in that case? Well, I, I do a lot of mo motivational listening to people okay. on YouTube. So okay. E, the hip hop artist, yes, the preacher, right, right. I listen to him every yeah. day, like just motivate. If you want to be the top, if you want to be, you know, a lot of the stuff is a lot of planning. You can't mm -hmm. just try to wing it, right? As an indie artist, yes. you got to plan everything out. And then, you know, like I said, I I listen to a motivational speaker, and then I have family that support me. That's saying, "Yo, you can really make it. I can really feed my family with this." You know, right? So I know the struggles of trying to start from the bottom and rising to the top. But I think you just, you care about the fans more because you know how hard for them that you get to get them. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You care for, you know, the moves or the, the connection you, you got with the DJ, the uh -huh. promoters. Uh -huh. So it's, it's people watch out for you when you, when you do, as an indie artist, 
stay focused. Right. Because it's that humbling experience, mm-hmm. right? And there's so much more I know that you that drives you in order to get to where you're going because you have you have kind of quite a team <laughs> behind you. I do we have get a back, team. Yeah, when we come back, Sinks to Sink, we'll explain what we mean by a team, okay? Yes. We're here with ASUS, you guys. Stick and stay. We'll be back. Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida. So register now. Call 305-653-7886. Sink to sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah. We're back at Sanks with Sank TV with hip hop, R&B, extraordinaire, Asus. Now we just were talking about Asus and how she is basically has a team behind her. And when we're referring to a team, we're referring to your offsprings. You have yes, four. I have four. I need you guys to take a really good look. <laughs> take a good look, flick it up. Four, so how do you do it? Not only do Not only does she have four, kids but she is a single parent yeah. raising four kids alone so how is it that you do that well um definitely a schedule can't you know or my to-do list i have a today today um uh, daily do list and then a uh, calendar and all that stuff so but they keep me motivated before i started music i, I didn't have kids so mm-hmm. when i had my first girl i was like yeah you know and then I, when I had my twins, I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, Beyonce twins on top of it, that. Beyonce could work it. I can work it, too. Right. So but let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Beyonce probably have the most, I don't know, elaborate team working with her. You're right. And she has nannies, and she has the schedule on top of that. But I'm pretty sure she's very meticulous about her day and the journey with her kids. But this is you by yourself. So. That's not motivation enough. Like, I'm talking about no excuses whatsoever. Right, right. That is pretty dope. I salute you. Thank you. I salute you. you. And then the youngest is three. three. The oldest is seven. Seven. So do the math here. They keep you on your toes. Yes. And if that, I I, I love, I'm a mom myself. So, but no, I'm nowhere near. I have (laughs) one. (laughs) But the fact that you're able to wear that, wear the hat of of being an entertainer and then at home, you go home, you do a little entertaining too because you have all the voices and the characters and all that stuff. Yes, And then your mother, you're balancing both. That's pretty dope and I salute you for that. That's awesome. So how is it that they motivate you? They motivate me to, you know, sometimes when you have kids, you decide, some people decide to to put their dreams in the back yes, burner and kind of, of for, forget their, you know? Right. And then kind of, sometimes you, you I, I've seen where people are like, it's because of you, you, I couldn't do yeah, what I wanted to do. So I didn't cool. want to, I didn't want them to wear that, carry that burden as well myself. Right. So I said, okay, in order for me to gel the two love of my life, right. I have to implement and uh, bring them in. So I bring them to the studio. Oh. I bring them to, yeah, nice. so they kind of, you know, they get it like, so when I do leave, they be like, oh, mommy's working. Right, they you know, understand. She's, she's, she's grinding out here. Love it, yeah, love so. it. Mm-hmm. So as far as 
Whew, that's a lot. So your family, it takes a village. So your family yeah. helps out a lot, I take it. Yes. Well, uh-huh. their dad is um, present too, you know. Okay. They're all from one guy. So okay. If you want... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, you know. No, I get that a lot. Like, okay. people would be like, how many kids, like, how many baby daddies do you have? And I'm like, I'm one. Sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. So. <laughs> okay. And, um. So I have my brother and my mom. She, you know, Haitian parents. Yes. They don't never want you to go anywhere. Right. So, you know, she's always drop the kids off or stuff like that. So, That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, speaking about Haitian parents. <laughs> so it is Caribbean Heritage Month, Caribbean American Heritage Month, rather. So you are of Haitian descent. Yes. How is it that your mother, how did she take it when you told her that? Look, this is what I want to do. I want to be an entertainer, and I, I'm choosing music. And on top of the R&B music, which they can kind of deal with, I want to do rap, hip-hop. hip-hop. What did she say? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Sometimes she have her episode like, Jesus coming tomorrow. <laughs> like, Mom, I'm recording right now. <laughs> but, no, she, I think, because I also did, I went to school, did medical assisting. So mm-hmm. it's not like I was just on these streets just doing nothing with my life gotcha. but i just followed my passion that was the difference right and i told her mom if you want the american dream because she came from haiti right and want your daughter to be successful let me follow my passion Love besides it. you can you can also join it because she's a, a simtress oh so some, yeah nice. so sometimes she does and so she supports you. Yeah, she does. I love does. it. I yes. love it. Yep. And your dad? Yeah, he. well, he's a musician. That's why I kind of get it from because he used to play guitar. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so he supports you all the mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a first. <laughs> <You don't> find, <laughs> honestly, you don't find that often. You know, they salute you with the church and they salute you with the school. Right. But when it comes to anything outside of being a lawyer, engineer, a doctor, or anything in the medical field. So you are on the right track with right. medical. Right. You're on the right track. But then when you veer off, they want to disown you and act like, you know, Jesus is coming soon. You need to find, <laughs> get your head checked and find out what, you, what is it that you want to do. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Again, if you don't say true to the art, then yes. If, right. If they see you, you know, doing crazy stuff, of course they're going to be like, yo. Right. You know, but if you're it's staying only, right? stick to the to the essence and the real the reason why you do music then they support you you know you probably have to give them a little cash you know mm-hmm. so they can see that this is real right because if they don't see the money they just think that you're just playing around so, so. what do you think about motherhood you kind of you kind of mentioned motherhood and also keeping your um artistry alive as well so cardi b for example mm. there was a lot of backlash because she was performing on stage while being pregnant and then when she came about and said that okay she's going to stop her tours as a right. result of her pregnancy she was getting too big she said she was out of breath which is normal well, process mm-hmm. right then the fans were kind of giving her i mean she had support on one end and then on the other end it was like no we don't support you we need you to entertain us or what have you What's your take on that as far as that balance is concerned? And do you feel like when a woman is pregnant that they should be home or do you feel like they should be out in the field, you know, working and building? Um, I definitely think that um, everyone should have their, you know, right to do choose. what they yeah, choose. Yeah. But there's working women out here that's working yes. up to the baby drops. Pretty much. Like, this is what she's doing is nothing new. The only reason much. the difference is she's getting eye care, you know, the, right. the she's time. Fr- yep. She's in front on of the TV. public. Right. That, I did it. Yeah. My sister did Go. it. Go. My sister's a nurse and her water broke. Come on. Right after her shift. Come on. I said. <laughs> She was like, take me to the hospital. I said, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't let's go. It wasn't it was, let's it was, go. It was, <gasps> yeah, yeah, it was a little bit more dramatic than that. But in a nutshell, that's what it was. But yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of times, um, I think times have changed um, where, of Definitely. course, you have to get clearance from your doctor if your doctor says no, yes. what have you. But for the most part, times have changed where people are really, women are really saying, you know what, I, I can do this. There, there shouldn't be anything that's stopping me just because of my gender, just because I'm a right. lady, I'm supposed to stay in this box and I can't venture out. So that's pretty dope, which is what I like about your song. Oh. Your song, your single, is what we're going to discuss when we come back, you guys. Yes, yes. If you don't have any motivation enough from this young lady, <laughs> wait till you hear what her single is about. We'll be back at Sink to Sink TV.
Welcome back to Sanks to Sank TV. I am your host, B. Now, keep in mind, if you want more information about Sanks to Sank TV, please feel free to log on to www.sankstosanktv.com. Also, we're on Instagram, at Sanks to Sank TV. I'm chopping it up with your girl, Asus. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Asus, in the building. Yeah. Yes, sir. Asus. Now, she is a hip-hop artist as well as an R&B sensational artist. You should hear her voice. We're going to talk about her single, and it is... Grind Till You Shine. Grind Till You Shine. You got to hear it, you guys. It's very motivational. What made you, you know, put that together, Grind Till You Shine? Well, it sums up everything I went through as far as an artist, as far as an individual, as far as a mother, and clumped it up to one song. And Love the it. beat spoke to me, and that's how I came Are about. Are you the one, you, you laid the beat or someone else? No, someone else okay. had the um, track. But, you know, sometimes when you hear the song, mm -hmm. it doesn't come. So I wait. I right. wait till I really get a feel of the song. I wait till I really get the beat, and then I come up with the concept and wrote to it so it was just a part of my life where I was down but I was not gonna stay down I know that's right so yeah. grind to shine anybody can listen to it They'll pop it you know in the cds and be feel motivated to kind of do something with their life and it's no clean what. yeah it is clean <laughs> <laughs> it's important how important well I have my opinion but how important is it to have clean records I think it's very 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 important especially if you're trying to cater to young folks yes um and you know parents they're the one that buys the material Most so part. you should have to stay conscious about it maybe to do two versions it might be a little bit more right. work right but accommodate the kids because they're gonna really show some love some genuine love kids show some genuine they do love they are authentic they're transparent <laughs> <laughs> they tell you how it is yep they tell you yay or nay oh no mommy i don't like this oh yeah oh i like it yes. or Sometimes they, they, you know what? They're your toughest critics too, right? Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. Love it, love it. So grind till you shine. Some of the lyrics in grind till you shine, you say it goes, it's basically based on your experiences mm -hmm. as well as motivating others, right? How important is it to motivate others? Because oftentimes we're like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm just trying to get a dollar. So I'm worried about self. Right. And whatever happens, happens. Right. I think it's... You Nowadays, you know, we have um, the awareness of mental illness. Yes. And some people are not speaking out. They're not. quiet about it. So music tends to reach a lot of people yes. in a matter. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't have a black and white. Yes. You know, it's just it's whoever wants to listen and right. open up to the music. So that I wanted to put out music most of my music to be motivational when you're down and say, yo, when I have that connection with that fan or that family i call them my family yo you know i got through this mm -hmm. because of your song you know i almost killed myself but right. I, you i was listening to what you're saying and i i decided no I, i'm gonna win so that's what the i love from. that you call them family too it makes it a little bit more intimate and it allows you to have that connection with um that individual and it's the sad situation that we're going through where mm -hmm. it's always been there. Mental health has always been an issue right. that has been there since the beginning of time. But now we see with technology, it's been more in the forefront. Right. And people are able to, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, most people, we don't hear about it until after it happens. But I strongly believe in the power of music. And mm -hmm. I believe how music can basically change your trajectory, right? Music can, you can listen to something and then all of a sudden you feel, feel joyful joy, right. or you feel down or depressed afterwards or or you feel like, okay, I want to go out there and I want to get it. Like right. it's just me against the world. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it by any means necessary. So the fact that you're putting out, you know, positive tracks and motivational tracks, that says a lot about who you are. And hopefully when those dollars start coming in, <laughs> You yes, don't forget yes. that important piece. And right. I'm not saying that everything has to be there because we have to be realistic. As an artist, you go through things mm -hmm. and you project whatever you go through through your music. So I don't think that, okay, it should be just simple, like not simple, but just one topic. Right. But by all means, put that positivity out there because you're right. Everyone is listening. Like, when you think they're not listening, they're listening. They're listening. We yes. just celebrated what Tupac's birthday, right? Well, yeah, and it's what he's been twenty, almost twenty-four years. Right, right. I love and his him. music lives oh. on. Speaking of Tupac, who is it in the industry that you know you listen to for that extra boost? Definitely Tupac. Nice. Um, I remember the day 
I listen to him because I'm, I'm my brothers, mm-hmm. you know, all boys. So I used to listen to Tupac. I used to listen to Bone Thugs and Harmony. Ah, I okay. used to, <laughs> you know, a lot of the East Coast. Right. And then, um, of course, Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. I love her because she's diverse. She doesn't stay in one. You know, you could be sexy. Right. But then switch Did you it see up her snapback? Woo! <laughs> Yes. That's my boo, yeah. Aaliyah. Yeah. That's yes. where my singing, you know, if I feel like I want to sing on this track, that's right. where it comes from. Oh, Aaliyah. Yeah, Aaliyah. 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 I miss Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Yeah. Aaliyah, I don't know. She would have been a force of reckon with if she was still here. Like, and Aaliyah. you know, they just did a, a Mac um, makeup for her. Oh, really? They petitioned and she got a Mac up makeup for her. Nice. I wonder who the funds go to. Hmm. I don't know. Think about Think about. All right. So we want to listen to a little bit of your uh, uh, of your track like a snippet of it if you could do it real quick for us yeah okay say grind till you shine like it's never really it grind till you shine like you're never gonna quit grind till you shine you might never be home grind till you shine till you never stand alone grind till you shine because your baby gotta eat grind till you shine till you do it in your sleep grind till you shine got a mind of a boss grind till you shine because you had to take a loss Nice, nice. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sis, you yeah, guys have know. to check her out. You guys, she's also going to be performing at the Broward Hip Hop Festival, which we're going to come back after the break to discuss, and she'll give us more details on that. We'll be Woo-hoo. back. Stick and stay. to sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah. We're back at Sanks and Sanks TV with a sis. If you were just joining us earlier, she was talking about grind till you shine. Yes, yes. And I love the little lyrics in it. Not love. I love the these lyrics, lyrics in it. <laughs> How the lyrics basically motivate you and catapult you to go into the next level. We always want to do that. We always want progression in our Most lives. Definitely. And you also have, um, we said that you were going to go perform at the Broward Hip Hop Festival that's coming up. Yes, that's tell, Saturday. Yes, tell, tell us about that because they are doing something so awesome because they are allowing indie artists to come and the platform that they're giving them is on another level because they're hitting right. several media outlets to do that. And never before has this been done in Broward and the people who has um, come up with this. They are Sinks to Sink family, by the way. Shout out to them. And they have opened doors for people who basically wouldn't have this platform. So tell us about it. Well, when I first um, auditioned, I would say that was my audition, for Bar Hip Hop Festival, I didn't know the capacity that what it was going to be right, what, a week before um, it's going to uh, it's gonna go down. Right. So... Um, but again, I love performing, so I gave it my all. Nice. So after that, I decided, like, you know what? They gave me a chance to be on this hip hop festival. This could be bigger. If I don't make it bigger in life, I don't make it exciting. Nobody else is gonna feel that way. It's so true. I decided just to go head on with promotion. No matter if I was doing two venues that night or another venue, I would add Brow Hip Hop Festival because they put in a platform where, like you said, no one have done that. And right. I've seen, you know, in this industry, they're helping. They also give you outlets as far as magazines, photo shoots, you know, press. Right. Um, uh, we have a, also June the 21st meet and greet. Nice. So now the artists can meet the uh, um, audience right, right. before the show right. and really get a feel of them. Yes. You know, so I think that this can just be an annual thing. This can just be 
the Coachella about how, right. You and know, we, we need that because there's so many artists that comes out of Miami, um, Palm Beach, and Dade County, and we've seen a lot of artists recently that's come out of the Palm Beach area you know, in the Broward community as well. And to be able to have that platform right. says a lot because oftentimes people aren't giving you a chance out there. And I don't care how much you grind and how much, sometimes it takes that much longer, which doesn't make it any bad, but it takes that much longer oh, for you to get mm -hmm. that publicity because people like, okay, they don't know your name. They don't care how many followers you have, but right. they're not going to give you that opportunity. So for this, I'm like, this is pretty dope. And for it to become a Coachella, that would be awesome. Awesome. There's really? so much yes. art in South Florida on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. So why not embrace it? So we look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, I'm so excited. We are a week out. I got butterflies. I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for butterflies? Um, I, should, I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> It's not legal. <laughs> no, no. It's oh. probably like funny. Like, uh, okay. All right. I use the bathroom. Oh, they say that's good <laughs> luck, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Oftentimes, like even in um, <laughs> during school, like in college, when you're taking your classes, oftentimes they say if you have to go right before an exam, that's good. You pass the test because you're getting rid of all the nerves, nervousness. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. That's good. Kind of, kind of <laughs> peculiar right there, but no, that's that's common. I'm pretty sure the audience is looking at us kind of like, crazy, yeah. but it is, <laughs> it is a good thing that you do that, especially you and one any problems Accidents, on Accidents, <laughs> right? No. All right, so so after you do that, then everything is the jitters are gone and you're no, not necessarily. I oh. get, I, I'm, I'm on high energy all okay. the time when I'm okay. performing okay. because in my mind, I think like this could be my shot. Yeah. Somebody in here sees me. This can be my shot. So my energy is always like, and then it's too. It's like I have my. I used to envision this. Ah. So now it's in my in my face. I can't just be like, run to your shine. Like, I know. I that's gotta right. be like, yo, show me some love. Yeah. Yep, like your four babies are sitting out there. Yep. And it's dependent on them, so you're going to grind till you shine. That, that, those are your audience members right, right. there, right? right. Yeah, I love right. it. I love it. So you have another um, video that you wanted to discuss, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the next video that I'm going to shoot is called Tell Me Yes. Tell Me Yes. And notice how her voice kind of went sensual <laughs> when she said, tell me yes. All right, tell me about Tell Me Yes. Tell Me Yes is... it get island vibe is a Love real it. island vibe okay. so you know i'm from haitian descent so mm -hmm. i have to do my little big up and it's very sexy my brother produced it nice his name is first okay first. he's gonna be the hottest producer next to um swiss beats Love it. timberland okay. just putting it out there yes but yeah <laughs> so um and that record is pretty it's pretty dope i think that it's a a, a, a way that you can let a guy know that's feeling you across the room that you feeling him. Okay. But he has to give you that. Yes, he should. He can't be fronting like he's with his homie. He just can't do it. Ah. No, it got to be me and you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So that's okay, pretty much yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So tell me yes, right? Yes. All right, you guys. Tell me yes. Look out for that. We'll be right back. Thanks to Zank TV. We're back at Sanctuary Sanct TV, and I'm here with Asus, and we've learned so much about Asus. And um, to wrap it up, you're gonna discuss how we can follow you for more information, really quick, because 
you have something planned for us at the Broward Hip Hop Festival. Correct. For the audience members, check this yes, out. Yes, What up, what up, world? It's your girl, Asus in the building. You already know, repping the 954. Broward County, get at your girl. Listen, I will be at the Broward Hip Hop Festival on June the 23rd on Saturday. It's going to be lit. Please follow me at Asus underscore G-Y-S-Y. That's A-S-I-S underscore grind to your shine. Love it. Grind to your shine. Now you can't forget grind to your shine. Like now it's like in my head, and especially especially after we've shared so much about you, right? Right, right. So grind to your shine and the Caribbean video that you have coming yes. up, which is called Tell Me Yes. Tell Me Yes. Now tell me yes. I wanted to get more information about Tell Me Yes because Tell Me Yes, it sounds like something to give the fellas a wake up call. Yes. Because nowadays people are so I don't know. I don't know if it's the social media aspect of it where guys aren't really able to communicate Express. effectively. Mm -hmm. So notice the high pitch voice because <laughs> it's kind of annoying that, you know, <laughs> it's very difficult for, um, for, for fellas to communicate. And it's so bizarre now that you even see women taking on that masculine, masculine. role, right? Yeah. They're taking that, that superior, I, I shouldn't say superior, but they're taking that, that role of leadership, so to speak. Even so, that you see women proposing right. for men. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we can't just be doing everything. No, not at all. You know what I'm not saying? Not at all. I think that role or that particular moment is for y'all. Yes. Yes. So we can scream and say, yes. Yes. I saw one recently on Instagram, too. It, it blew me away because the guy, he cheered on a little bit too, too, too much. He had a... <laughs> I don't know, looked a little sweet, like he had a little sweet and low in him. Well, okay. So mm -hmm. I I I'ma just put it out there. I don't I don't agree to it to each his own. Whatever makes people happy, so be it. But if you ask me for my personal opinion, I don't agree to it. So as far as your your track is concerned, we're gonna bring it in. As far as your track is concerned. So your track promotes the whole male stepping up to the plate, plate. and yes. speaking up and meaning what they say, right? right. No games. No, no fronting, yes. no front in front of your homies. I see you looking at me, you looking at me, I'm telling you yes. And I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you raw, like real love. But you can't meet me halfway on it. You got to you gotta. So you believe the in way. the man. Oh, I got you. Come so you believe the in way. the man coming all the way full come throttle. Way. Got you. Yeah. Got I had, you. you know what's so funny? I had a guy um, when he was trying to holler. He stayed in the car. And I'm looking at him like, are yeah. you not going to get out of the car? Yeah, no. that's that, but that's the time frame that we're I'm in sorry. right now. I'm sorry, you're not gonna get my number then. Then you even have it like <laughs> if we we go to the next level, even higher. You have Tip. I don't know if you follow him. I follow him. I, I love Tip. But lately, I don't know. He posted something on Instagram. He reposted something on Instagram about marriage mm. and how marriage is something that is sought out for women because of their friends. And um, basically for society, societal purposes, but it's more geared towards women because men have so much more to lose than women when it comes time to divorce. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, that threw me off. Like yeah. That. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people chimed in. You know, you had some men to chime in. And a lot of women chimed in as well. And they were basically discussing how women nowadays bring home so much, much more. more. Mm -hmm. And they bring up so much value, not only the financial gain that they bring, but they also bring on so much leadership. Their skills and their traits are much more than just being that housekeeper. So it got kind of ugly because, of course, his wife chimed in. Uh oh, and <laughs> tiny is you know she got yes. a big voice. Yes, pretty much, pretty much. So we want, as far as your music is concerned, you promote more motivational speaking mm -hmm. as well as geared towards womanhood right? yep got it. leadership and then it's a little it's more positive to the woman you can feel sexy and follow your dream and do whatever you want to do as far as i do you know i'm old school conservative you know if you do have if you're in a relationship sometimes you just gotta let the man lead right right you know right so and beyonce is a good uh Example. You know, she she, she leads. She does. Trust me. Did she you does. see the, on one of the Twitters, like, they, why did she bring um, Jay-Z on the tour? Mm -mm. I yeah, didn't see that. Yeah. Why? They were just saying no, but she was saying, like, they, she's so big that she don't need, need him. him. Yeah, it's but not she loves him, but though. She, but she right. has that balance. balance. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. All right. It was so awesome chopping it up with you. 
We look forward to see you, seeing you at the Broward Hip Hop Festival coming up next week. And also, your music is on me oh, music outlets. Yes, music outlets, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. You can catch it on Twitter. You can catch it on um, my Facebook at Asus underscore G-Y-S-Y or that Asus Fly Chick. And let the audience know where can we contact you again for more information. You can contact me at Asus underscore G-Y-S-Y. That's as is underscore grind to your shine and also at the brow hip-hop festival please show up follow me when you follow me and you show up at the brow hip-hop festival the livest audience will win fifty dollars fifty dollars cash money cash money <laughs> it was nice chopping up with you again thank you so much for spreading your love and for going after your dreams yes and not letting anything stop you we love you we love you here at thanks to sink Thank you. Thank All you. right, thanks to Sync TV. Remember, you want more information about us, log on to www.thanks2synctv.com. I'm your host, B. We're here with ASIS. We'll be back. to sync. Music is live. Yeah, yeah. Move it, move it. Voice to the man Welcome back to Thanks to Sync TV, and we're here with two other artists that will be performing at the Broward Hip Hop Festival. We have Tibbs, also Elia or Alia. 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 Oh, you say it like my grandma. She said, "Oh no, <laughs> with ooh, the accent." Ooh. So it's Alia. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's chop it up really quick about your artistry. As far as you're concerned, you do R and B. Yes, I do. And what what got you started in R and B, and why why out of all genres R and B? I just fell in love. My dad is from the '90s. He used to be a DJ, mm. so he like introduced me to a lot of classic, you know, hip hop music, all the way from Lauryn Hill all the way back to like, Ah, she said Lauryn Hill. Yes, all the uh -huh. way back to like um, <laughs> Sweet Mickey, you know, even Haitian nice, stuff. Nice. So it's, <laughs> it's like I, I'm very cultured, very seasoned. I don't discriminate with okay. my musical taste, so it gave me the ear that I needed okay. to create my own sauce. So you write your <laughs> you write your own music as well? Yes, I do. I love actually. it. Actually. So is it based on your experiences or is it Yeah. So it is it's a little bit of both based on my experiences, message I received from the above, nice. uh things that I've learned along along the way, messages that I want people to hear that I feel that they need to hear because okay. it's not being spoken about in music today. So what is one of the messages not being spoken about that you felt like okay, there's a need for me to speak on it. So highlight this. Love yourself. Ah, that isn't that it. You're right. right. It's not. Something so simple. It isn't. It's about getting <laughs> so that, simple. but injected and exactly. I mean it's still love. I mean it's still love. Of course, just of course. The natural essence of love and loving who you are it's, naturally. Yeah, exactly. You don't have that much love. Exactly. But let's let's pass on the tails real quick. Thanks for your patience. Pirate King, let's go, let's get it, let's get so it. So as far as your music is concerned, you told me like you're across the board with it. Oh yeah. All right, so when the, you say across the board, give me an example. I could do every, any, that's the way they train me. Who trained you? God. Ah, okay, okay, okay. My peers, my family, everybody. Mm -hmm. it, I had so much mentors, you could say I cheated. Ah, okay. Honestly, okay. Like, it's like I could remember just a voice for every time I was about to stray. So definitely, yeah. Okay, okay. So <laughs> so is it your experiences that got you into music? Or is it like, okay, it was birth in you from the, the It was beginning? birth, but it was also solitude. Mm -hmm. I, I was alone a lot. And music made the room warm and filled it with a lot of color. Nice. So through that, I manifested my own world and, and my own, you know, universe. Love that it. That I live in. Music is my world. So you give me a sample of something you do? Um, I don't know, you just look so eclectic. I just want to hear something. <laughs> and I just put you on the spot, but... 
Oh, you made me want to sing you a love song, sing you a love song, sing you a love song. Oh, Jay, Lord. Ask and ye shall receive. If I mean, you want something, you I ask, right? I really can't right? sing with these because, you know, like, I, like you got to buy like to hit my vibrato. No, 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 no. You were, you were, you were, you were dope. You were dope. <laughs> I sound record. a lot better without these. Ah, you were dope. You were dope. So why do you put those in? I'm Tasmanian though. Ah, Tasmanian Dave in a good way. There's only a good. Listen, there's no such thing as bad in this world. Your really? mind is your world. Okay. Who created the devil? God. So therefore, the greatest trick that the devil ever pulled over your eyes is convincing the world that he doesn't exist. Now, if I tell you that the devil exists, who else exists? God exists. Okay. The yin and the yang. Without okay. it, you fall out of balance. I see that spin. I see that spin. I do have a rebuttal, but we don't have that much time for it. So, <laughs> so yeah. trust. Trust I have a rebuttal for that. All right, Leah, since I put him on the spot, can I put you on the spot? Sure, yes, Loving your yes, name, yes. by the way. We mentioned Ali in the previous uh, segment too, with our um, <laughs> with our other aces, <laughs> our other hip bar, hip hop <laughs> artists. Okay. Yes, I fell in love with a devil fly friend. He was a slick talking mother. Told him again. Think that you own me. Don't act like you know me. Never think that you own me. Don't act like you know me. Yeah. Come through. <laughs> She Come wrote that through. before she met me, so don't think that song is about me. <laughs> do not. I didn't even see. I didn't even. I, I, didn't I got even the. Ask I know. They always do no. I didn't even add no. that. Notice, notice. No. I let them perform by no. themselves, and I was allowing the audience to come up with their own <laughs> conclusion. But yes, there are a couple since he put it out there. You know, I was respecting the game. I didn't say anything, but yes. So definitely, that has nothing to do with him. No, no, I wrote that two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> All right, so we're going to check both of you guys out. And thank you so much. At the Bard Hip Hop Festival, you're going to let us know where we can contact you for booking and more information. Of course, at I'm Nicole.com. Also, you can find me on all social media, the same thing, at I am, the letter I, the letter M, Aaliyah Nicole. And? And? Just Google T-I-V-Z, T-M-D, and all my platforms will pop up. Look out for my upcoming project. It's called Pirate King. It's going to have four songs and a bonus track. It's litty. It's dope. It's already got... Look, I already got people blowing up my phone. Deal's on the table. This track is ill. It's time to go. See me at Brow Hip Hop Fest. I want to just thank everybody for what they're doing for us right now. Sage, thank you so much for having us here today and letting us meet these wonderful souls. Thank you very much. Thank you for chopping it up with us and taking time out of your busy schedule. Thanks to Sam. <laughs> you guys got to go course. to the Broward Hip Hop Festival. And we have thank you, Sage. Like, here's his family as it is on Sex to Sync TV. We'll be right back. Love, peace, conclusion. and unity. back at Sanctuary Sanct TV. I'm your host B and we've reached the final segment of our show. We have the pleasure of chopping it up with Broward Hip Hop Festival artists. We have Asus in the house. In addition, we have Tivs and we have Aaliyah. We want to thank you so much for sticking and staying with us, taking time out of your busy schedule to come speak with us because you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to come here at Sanctuary Sanct TV. Also, we got to give a special shout out to Karua Fort Lauderdale for allowing us to be Yo. in the building every single time. They've been sticking and staying with us since day one. We can't thank you enough for that. You guys, if you want more information about Sinks to Sink TV, please feel free to log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com. We're also on Instagram at Sinks to Sink TV. 
fans, we can't thank you enough. Without you, we wouldn't be here. In addition to that, I can be located on Instagram at BLongChamp. We love you. Have an awesome Father's Day. Have an awesome Caribbean Heritage Month. We love you. We'll be back next week.